there's four types of roots, fibrous, taproot, tuberous, and uh, adventitious, which I, I didn't know what that was. So what are those? Let's just run through. I mean, everybody knows what a taproot is, I think, but let's just run through those briefly. Yeah, so um, most plants start out making a taproot. So when the seed germinates, uh, that first radical that comes out is, is usually a taproot. Right. And that, that's true of pretty much all plants. Uh, some plants will then become fibrous fairly quickly. And fibrous just means that there's smaller roots that are coming out the side of this taproot. Right. Uh, some plants keep the taproot, so it just gets larger and larger. So a carrot is a good example of that, right? Um, uh, other uh, some of the trees will have a taproot and that grows fairly straight down and it sort of has this one single root that goes down and it's doing it mostly for anchoring itself. That's what I found when I read your book. I thought that was the main thing, like it was getting the most stuff out of that. And you were like, no, that's just a big stick in the ground that keeps the tree from tipping over. And it's all a little, it's almost like a weak, it's all the ones that go sideways that are doing all the, you know, water sucking and nutrient sucking. Well, this is one of those things, you know, I read about for tap. years. You think that was like the main tap, you know, the, the thing that sucks the most stuff up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's what I read about for years. And I believe for years, right? There were two kinds of trees. There are the tap root trees and then the, the fibrous root trees. And uh, you want to plant tap roots because they go straight down and, and they don't interfere with your perennials so much. Well, most of that is nonsense, um, <laughs> as it turns out. So it is true that something like an oak, for instance, will make a big tap root and it will keep that tap root for a number of years. But at a certain point, it starts making these fibrous roots. And where the important part is where it gets its nutrients there is in the top foot of soil doesn't matter if it's a fibrous tree or taproot tree as once it reaches a certain level of maturity most of the feeder roots are sitting right at the top of the soil right that's where it's getting its nutrients and that has all kinds of uh, implications for for gardeners um, you know there, there are certain perennial plants that people think have, have very deep roots and so they're mining all these minerals from down here and bringing them up to the surface soil. And it, it turns out that isn't yes. really what happens, right? Um, most of the feeder roots are in the top foot or six inches of soil. And that's, there's a reason for that. That's where the oxygen is. That's where the water is. That's where all the microbes are. And that's where they get their, their nutrients. It's very hard for plants to get nutrients farther down. Well, there isn't a lot there isn't a lot down there you know like you start especially where i live like you're in ontario where you've got like all this beautiful soil gravel like, <laughs> you know here it's like we got like a, a little six inches of uh you know uh you know sort of something resembling soil then it's just gray stuff you know gray stuff and, and granite rocks <laughs> yeah. far all the way down you know <laughs> So but uh, yeah, even in even in areas of that. <laughs> yeah even in areas that has very deep soil, the plants still get the nutrients higher up. Right? Well, I guess it's, all the microbial activity and all that composting and leaf, all that stuff, you know, like that. Yeah, you know, the, the turnover is near the surface, and yeah. the water is near the surface, I guess, and it's less water. compacted and all that stuff. Yeah, the water and air are critical, right? Yeah, so and air, yeah. So, you know, we want soil that's like 25% water, 25% air. And the deeper you go, the less air you have. So yes. plants have trouble, the roots have trouble living down there. Right? Yeah. So it all happens at the surface. And so this idea of tap roots, tap root is really just a, uh, a temporary root for trees. Now, you know, some of our vegetables have tap roots. So carrots do make a definite tap root and dandelions have a very definite tap root and so on. Um, but they're shorter lived plants generally. And so they'll, they'll make this for food storage mostly. Right. right. Uh, beets are like that too. Um, so the, the other, um, well, we have the tuberous uh, roots which a lot of people call bulbs. So we have this whole category of different things that grow underground that um, gardeners tend to mix up 
the terminology and and for the most part it really doesn't matter whether i call this a tuber or a, a root or a stem uh, so for instance a potato the the, the spud that develops um, is actually not a root it's, it's actually a stem really oh it's uh it's an expanded stem right even though they, so they call it a tuber but that's not a tuberous it's, root it's a stem it's, it's it's really it's really a part of the stem yeah um it grows I guess that under makes sense because there's these uh what are those called um indeterminate potatoes where you can keep adding soil and they'll send out they'll actually make potatoes you know you bury the stems and they send potatoes out yeah so it's actually uh um a stem tissue and the importance of that is is not significant as far as gardening goes Right. So definitely we don't have to worry too much about the different types, but essentially it's a storage vessel for the plant. When things get large like that, it's it's storing food for future use. And that's what its purpose is. Is a bulb a tuberous root or is a, a bulb, bulb a different thing? A, a true bulb is actually a complete plant. Like so a an, an onion and a tulip are true bulbs. And if you slice them open and look at it with a microscope, you can actually see uh, leaves and stems and roots and every, there's a complete plant inside those. I see. That's the definition of, of, a, um, uh, of a bulb. Right. right. And then we have some called corms, which are, I think, just uh, uh, stems. It's a stem growth, right? So if you cut that open, you, don't, you won't have a plant inside. It's just swollen stem. That's right. all you have. Um, so yeah, there, so there are specific botanical definitions for all of those. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, there was another concept. So, oh, sorry, adventitious. Oh, adventitious. So the idea of this is, gets back to that Mary stem idea, right? That we... We need to have some place in the root system for new roots to grow. Now, uh, interestingly, uh, the place that most root growth happens is actually at the root tips, right? So we have this, yes. this big root system and it's got all these things going around and the side branches and so on. But the only place roots really grows at the tips. And that, that little tip has special cells in there. It has special Mary stems that have not yet been differentiated. So they're just growing as fast as they can. And as they differentiate, they either become root caps, which is the, the tip of the root, or they become things like xylem and phloem, which is a little farther back in the root. Right. But the way the root grows is it, it basically makes more and more cells at the tip. Right. So the root cells, as it grows, they do grow a certain amount, a certain length, but then they stop growing. And the way roots grow is they just put more cells on the tip. Right. Right. Very similar to the shoot of a plant. Right. The, the, right. the, the way a shoot gets taller is it puts more and more cells at the tip. Right. It's, it's not right. it's, it's not going like this. It's it's a, it's a cumul it's accruing or whatever the term is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that uh, you shouldn't do, but you can do as an experiment is you put a nail in a tree, right? And watch it over years. And the nail never gets any higher. Not going so up. You, you put it in at six feet and that tree is added 20 feet to its, to its height. The nail is still at six feet. Yes. And that demonstrates the fact that the cells that are there at the six foot height never go any higher. It doesn't grow from below, it grows at the tip. Right. right. It's and roots grow the same way. Right. right. Now where advantageous roots are important is that if I come along as a gardener and I'm moving my plant and I cut all those root tips off, now I got no place to grow. I mean, they, you would think the plant dies, but it has these special roots farther back from the tip that will start to grow if the plant loses its root tips. Yes. Right. And that's what they're there for. They're, they're kind of like, a, you know, an emergency fund. If I lose all the tips and I can't grow roots, all well, then these start to grow and they start forming new root tips farther, closer to the center of the plant. Hey, folks, want to help support everything I'm doing here? Check out my sponsors, Vessi's Seeds and Safer's Gardening Products. For Vessi's, go to their website, vessies.com. 
And use my coupon code GAVS23 and you'll get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in your order and there's no oversized items in your order. Check out the description box of this video for details. Uh, for Safer's products, Woodstream products, you can buy all the things I use in my garden, slug and snail killer, BTK, and all. You can buy that from Vessies, or you can go to their websites uh, for a much wider range of products to solve just about any kind of problem that you can imagine uh, with high quality natural ingredients like oils from seeds and flowers and stuff like that. Uh, for, if, you, if you're in Canada, go to woodstreambrands.ca and as long as your order is over $69, you get free shipping. If you're in the United States of America, then go to saferbrand.com and as long as your order is over $45 US, you'll get free shipping from them. So yeah, if you want to help support the channel and the podcast and they sell something you need, buy from them and that'll help support everything I'm doing here. Thanks a lot.